A forensic audit of spending by a top city official under then mayor Kasim Reed found Atlanta's spending culture akin to the Wild West with little or no oversight. Auditors found former chief financial officer Jim Beard could easily sidestep the rules when using his city credit card to purchase guns and expensive travel. Uh, senior IT reporter Dale Russell has reported on Beard's credit card use before and has now examined this newly released audit. I would say that I was angry about the results, but not surprised. Atlanta City Council President and mayoral candidate Felicia Moore is upset about a city audit that found out of control spending by former Atlanta Chief Financial Officer Jim Beard. The worst part of the audit is the fact that it says the tone of the top from the top. For years, the Fox 5 I team reported on FBI and IRS raids, agents hauling potential evidence out of City Hall, threats made to a potential witness, and a jaw-dropping number of top city officials and city contractors who pled guilty to a variety of federal crimes or are awaiting trial, all under the administration of Mayor Kasim Reed. Beard failed to provide sufficient documentation to support a city business justification for all of these charges. The Fox 5 I team also examined Chief Financial Officer Jim Beard's spending. We found he paid for first class style plane tickets, like a $9,500 flight to Beijing and a $14,000 business class flight and hotel to Amsterdam for two city employees and lavish hotel expenses like $10,000 for the Shangri-La seen here on this webpage in Paris. Following our reporting, the City Ethics Board found questionable expenses totaling $98,000 by Beard. Premium domestic and international travel, hotel, retail, and other potentially unallowable expenses. Beard later repaid taxpayers for the Paris Hotel. The I-Team also reported about police records relating to a Glock 19 assigned to Beard, as well as a Glock 43, AR-15 semi-automatic rifle, and a micro T2 sight. Atlanta police spokesperson told us police never assigned a gun to Beard. I have no earthly idea uh, why those weapons were purchased. Now an outside audit requested by Council President Felicia Moore has found Atlanta had deficient policies to control spending and that Beard easily sidestepped those policies because of a Wild West culture among managers in Mayor Kasim Reed's administration. Auditors wrote, employees perceived that executives were not required to comply with rules imposed upon lower level employees, especially regarding travel expenses and reimbursements. That is the problem. When you have the chief financial officer of the city, the chief executive officer being the mayor of the city, setting a tone that allows citizens money and the citizens trust to be violated. That was the most troubling part of this to me. Following our reporting, a federal grand jury indicted Beard on multiple counts of fraud. The indictment alleges Jim Beard illegally bought machine guns at taxpayer expense and used a city credit card for personal travel. Jim Beard's attorney Scott Grubman wrote to say Mr. Beard pled not guilty and is confident justice will prevail at his trial. Grubman questions the accuracy and completeness of the audit, he says, because the city admitted it destroyed Beard's hard drive during a criminal investigation. Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms texted to say it all starts at the top. She says her administration implemented ethics and transparency reforms. And she points out that past behavior is the best predictor for future behavior. We reached out to former Mayor Kasim Reed. We didn't hear back from him. From City Hall, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.